Hi everyone, uh, welcome back sa aking channel, GTR Math Tutorial. So for today's video, uh, we will discuss uh, integration that involves product of sines and cosines. Such as, so we have sine nu, cosine v dx, cosine nu, cosine v dx, or sine nu, sine v dx. So if we have different angles, so we have u and v are the angles. So if the angles are different, so we can use these uh, identities. So these three identities. So we have 2 sin u cosine v that is equal to sin u plus v plus sin u minus v. Then if we have uh, 2 cosine u cosine v that is equal to cosine u plus v plus cosine u minus v. And we have if we have 2 sin u sin v that is equal to cosine u minus v minus cosine u plus v. So if the given is only sin u cosine v, so we can multiply both sides of the equation by one half. Okay, so therefore we have sine u cosine v equals uh, one half times quantity of this uh, expression. Okay, so try to solve the four examples. So a screenshot first and then try to solve before watching my solution. Okay, so let's, uh, let's start. Number one. Number one, if we have an integral of sine 5x times sine x dx, so these are the identities that we are going to use so we will use both signs so we will use this uh, identity okay so use this identity so our u here is uh this is our u 5x and then v is equal to x so just apply the identity so we that we don't have two in the in the integral so therefore we will we'll, we'll just multiply these terms by one half Okay, so this will be now equal to integral of 1 half times the quantity. So we have cosine u minus v. So that is equal to cosine u minus v. So that is 5x minus x. And then minus cosine u plus v. So we have 5x plus x. Okay, and then dx. So just simplify. Or we can move the constant, this one half across the ayan, integral sign. So we have one half integral of, and then at the same time, distribute dx. So cosine 5x minus x, that is equal to cosine 4x. And then we have minus, so there's also one half since there is a bracket. So we have one half integral of cosine 5x plus x. So that is equal to cosine 6x dx. Okay, we forgot the dx here. And then just uh, use the formula for the integral of integral of cosine. So we have direct formula for integral of cosine, cosine u du that is equal to sine u, sine u plus c. So we have, so for this term, our u is 4x. So therefore, we have a neutralizing factor of 1 fourth. Or we can write this as uh, 1 half times 1 fourth integral of cosine 4x times 4 dx. Okay, so we multiply 1 fourth and 4. So that is now in the form cosine u du. Our du is 4 dx. And then minus 1 half uh, times the my neutralize, we have neutralizing factor of 1 6 since uh, there is a 6 here. So we have 1 6 integral of cosine 6x times 6 dx so so that it is now in the form cosine u du derivative of 6x or differential of 6x is 6 dx so it's in the form cosine u du so that uh, that's why we multiply 1 6 times 6 okay so now uh, let's just apply this so therefore the final answer will be 1 half times 1 fourth that is equal to 1 8 so it is cosine cosine u du so therefore we have sine sine u plus c. So sine 4x plus c, but uh, dito na natin ilalagay yung plus c. So we have minus 1 half times 1 6. So we have 1 over 12. And then derivative of cosine u is equal to sine u. So therefore we have cosine or uh, sorry, that is a uh, sine sine 6x plus the constant of integration c. This is the final answer. Okay, so next, number 2. So we have cosine 2x times cosine 7x dx. So we will use product of cosine. So we will use this. 
So para to avoid a uh, negative in in our answer, we can uh interchange cosine 2x and cosine 7x. So this can be also written as cosine 7x and then cosine 2x dx. Okay? So that our u is greater than greater than v. Okay? So our u here is 7x and then our v our v is uh, v is equal to 2x. So just apply the apply this identity. So we have Product of cosine, 2 cosine u cosine v. So just multiply this uh, the right side by 1 half. So therefore, we have 1 half integral of, we have cosine u plus v. So we have cosine u plus v. So we have 7x plus 2x and then plus cosine 7x minus 2x and then dx. Then just uh, simplify. So we have 1 half integral of cosine 7x plus 2x. So we have cosine 9x. So distribute the dx. So we have dx plus 1 half integral of cosine 7x minus 2x. So that is 5x dx. Okay, so what is our formula for integral of cosine? So cosine u du that is equal to sine u plus c. So again, we have a neutralizing factor of 9 and uh, 1 over 9 neutralizing factor for this and 1 over 5 to this uh, second term. So therefore, we have so we have 1 half times 1 over 9 integral of cosine 9x times 9dx. Okay, so since the derivative of 9x is 9dx, so we multiply 1 over 9 and 9. So, so that it's now in the form cosine nu du. Okay? So we have plus 1 half neutralizing factor is 1 fifth. And then we have integral of cosine 5x times 5dx. Okay? So it is now in the form cosine nu. So this is our uh, cosine nu and this is du. So just apply sine u, the formula that is equal to sine u plus c. So therefore, we have 1 half times 1 over 9. We have 1 over 18. And then we have cosine 9x. And then plus 1 half times 1 fifth. That is equal to 1 over 10 uh, cosine. So the derivative or the integral is sine. So this is sine, sine 9x. And this is equal to sine of our u whoops sine u is 5x plus c so final answer next number 3 okay so we have fraction sine 1 half x cosine 1 fourth x dx so product of sine and cosine so we will use this okay so we will use this identity so again we don't have 2 in the in our integrand, so therefore we just need to multiply this uh, by one half. So therefore that is equal to one half integral of. So our u here is one half. One half. Always uh take u as the greater of the one half and one fourth. So u is equal to one half x, and then v is equal to one fourth one fourth x. Okay, so therefore we have, so identity sine u plus b, sine u minus b, so both sine. So we have sine, just add 1 half x plus 1 fourth, 1 fourth x, and then plus another sine. So we have 1 half x minus 1 fourth, 1 fourth x, and then all multiplied by dx. Okay, so let's simplify. So just distribute the 1 half and the dx and the integral sign. So we have 1 half integral of sine. So let's add 1 half plus 1 fourth. So that is equal to uh, simply equal to 1 half plus 1 fourth. So this is 1 half can be written as 2 over 4 plus 1 fourth. So that therefore that is equal to 3 over 4. So this is equal to 3 over 4x and then plus sine. So when we subtract, so 1 half minus 1 fourth, so 2 fourth minus 1 fourth, that is equal to 1 fourth x 
one fourth x dx. So we will distribute the integral sign, integral sign and the dx. So we have sine three fourth x dx plus one half integral of sine one fourth x sine one fourth x dx. Okay, so we have neutralizing factor of the reciprocal of this. So that is the neutralizing uh, neutralizing factor. So our neutralizing factor here is four over four over three. And then for this one is neutralizing factor here is the inverse of uh, reciprocal of one fourth is four. Okay, so therefore we have one half times uh, four over three integral of sine three fourth three fourth x times times three fourth three fourth dx okay since the derivative derivative of three fourth x uh, three fourth x is three fourth dx okay so we have plus one half times four integral of sine one fourth x times one fourth dx okay so four and one fourth that is one so four over three times three fourth that is one so therefore it's now in the form integral of sine u du that is equal to negative cosine u plus c okay so this is the uh, sine so ito yung sine u ito yung ating du okay so sine u du so it's in the form of this so therefore just apply the formula so therefore we have final answer one half times four over three oh, we can uh, reduce this four divided by two so that will become two so we have one times two over three so we have two over three derivative or, or integral of sine u is negative cosine so we put negative here negative two-third cosine u so u is three-fourth three-fourth x and then another one is one half times four so that is equal to two and then we have negative cosine so therefore we have negative cosine of our u cosine one fourth x plus c okay so this is the final answer both the sign are both signs are negative okay so for our last example number four we have sine and cosine okay so we have sine and cosine product of sine and cosine so that is uh, we will use this this formula okay so but we have two we have eight in the coefficient of eight so therefore we will just use this formula because uh, eight sine we can factor this as four times two okay so this will be four four times two so we just move the four outside the integral sign. So we have four integral of so two sine u cosine v that is equal to this. So therefore we have sine sine u sine u plus b plus sine u minus b. Our u is uh, see this is our u three x minus pi over four and our v is x plus pi over two. Okay, so. So therefore, we have moved the 4 outside since 4 times 2 and then just substitute. So therefore, we have sine u plus b. So we have u is 3x minus pi over 4 plus x plus pi over 2. Okay, and then we have plus sine u minus b plus sine then we have u minus b. So we have 3x minus pi over 4 minus x plus pi over 2. And then all multiplied to dx. Okay? So all multiplied to dx. So just simplify. So therefore we have 4 integral of... So... Simplify this, so we have 3x plus x. So therefore, we have sine 3x plus x that is equal to 4x. 
and then negative pi over 4 plus pi over 2. So let's solve it in here. So pi, negative pi over 4 plus pi over 2. So pi over 2, we can write pi over 2 as negative pi over 4 plus, convert this as denominator of 4. So this is 4 and then the numerator is 2 pi. Okay, so 2 pi minus pi, that is equal to pi over pi over 4. So this term, when we add this, we have plus pi over 4. Okay, and then we have dx, so distribute the dx, and then plus, distribute the 4 and the dx, so we have 4, integral of sine, so let's add this, 3x minus x, so that is equal to 2x, and then negative pi over 4 minus pi over 2. So we have negative pi over 4 minus pi over 2. So the same, this will become 2 pi over 4. So this will become 2 pi over 4. So therefore, the answer is negative 3 pi over 4. So we have 2x minus 3 pi over 4 dx. Okay, so now uh, we will we'll just use the... We have the direct formula for sine. Integral of sine u du is equal to cosine cosine u plus c or negative, negative cosine u plus c. So our u here is 4x plus pi over 4. So the value of u is 4x plus pi over 4. And then we have the du is equal to the differential of 4 is 4 for dx, differential of pi over 4 is 0. Okay, so therefore, we just have neutralizing factor. So we have neutralizing factor of uh, inverse of 4, we have 1 fourth. Okay, so therefore, we, this can be written as 4 uh, times the neutralizing factor, 1 fourth integral of this term. We have sine 4x plus pi over 4 times... Our u is 4x plus, uh, 4x plus pi over 4. Our du is 4dx. So times 4dx. So that's why we multiply 1 fourth because the differential is 4dx. So this will be cancelled out. So it's now in the form cosine u du. Okay? So plus 4. Our neutralizing factor in, uh, in this term is reciprocal of 2. So that is 1 half. Okay? So we have 4 times 1 half. Integral of sine, we have 2x minus 3 pi over 4 and then times our, this is our u, the du is 2dx, okay? So it's in the form sine u, sine u, du. And then just uh, apply the formula. So therefore, 4 times 1 fourth, that is simply 1. So therefore, the answer to this is negative, negative cosine 4x plus pi over 4. And then for this term, we have 4 times 1 half. That is 2. But the integral is negative cosine u. So we have negative 2 cosine of the our u cosine 2x minus 3 pi over 4 plus the constant of integration c. So this is the final answer. Okay, that's it. So I hope nagustuhan nyo ang aking explanation. So thank you for watching and see you sa mga next uh, video tutorial for uh, integral calculus. So if you have a question, just comment your question here and please follow me on my Facebook, uh, RJ Enseñado. You can DM me if you have a math question for calculus. Bye-bye and God bless.